it's me Thomas and today again I'm making another mini build uh, I literally just made a truck mini build which is the blog before this post and today we are making an NES controller so that's a Nintendo Entertainment System controller um, I was inspired to do this because um, Lego Ideas did make a Lego NES um, entertainment, Nintendo Entertainment System, but for me it looked too small, and there will there should be two to three videos on the whole thing, including a game card and a NES itself. Uh, they I've just noticed they are wildly uh, un uh, wildly inaccurate. So, uh, yeah, apologies there. I did not grow up with one. <laughs> and yeah, let's get started. So we start off with a two by a two by twelve grey piece. If you can see that, there you go. Two by twelve grey piece, and then a four by ten grey piece. They're both they're all flat, and then a two by four grey piece. And you just put those together like so, so now you have a rectangle. Then you need a 4x6 plate, light grey, and an 8x6 plate, also light grey. And those go over these grey plates. So now you have a two stud, what, two stud depth rectangle out of plates so that is going to be your controller or the beginning of the controller let's just say and then you will need uh, you'll need 12 of these drop down hook uh, stud pieces and those will just dot around the front and the back like so So on the front, and then on the back. Two, three, four, five, six. Now, the Nintendo Entertainment Systems controllers uh, had just a bit of grey on the fronts and backs, so we will make that with Lego pieces. Surprisingly enough. <laughs> anyway, you need two one by four plates and they just go there and then a one by four two one by four plates which go there then you'll need four of these six by one flat tile pieces and they will just cover that so now it looks smooth and not rough so that's the controller base. Next you'll need a 2x4 light grey plate and a 4x10 grey plate. And the 4x10 grey plate goes over the 6x4 uh, one, like so. And then the 2x4 just slots in that empty gap. Ooh. So there you go, that's your controller so far. Then you'll need a 1x6 black tile piece that will clip there, and then another one on the other side. So as I said, this isn't very accurate. Anyway, you need another 1x6 flat tile, which goes here, and then a 1x4 here, and another 1x4 but with studs on either side, like so. Then you'll need a 2x4 uh, plate with studs and then two 2x4 two circular red pieces. If you have any flat ones that will be much better it's just I haven't so I've used studded pieces and that just goes at the bottom there so now you have a 2x4 gap between the thing you just put down. Then you need two 2x4 two flat black tiles those go there 
like so. Then you will need four black cheese slope pieces and one black one by one flat tile. The flat tile goes in the middle, in the center. And then the four, oh, the four cheese slope pieces dot around the edges like this. So now you have your keypad kind of thing, like a cross pad even. And that actually feels really good in the hand. So I'd, I'd say that's a d definite pro for this and not a con. Anyway, uh, so that piece should go here. And that's that. Wait, no, no mind. It doesn't go there, it goes stood in front. Oh no. Fixer operator, don't fail me now. Well, you did, so uh, it's disappointing. There you go. So it actually goes a stud before uh, there, like so. So you can put your thumbs on there and you can put your thumb on there. But yeah. Then you'll need. So this is customized, so I don't know what these look like. I'm just kind of customizing it in my own way. This is a green transparent one by one plate that goes there, like a, a connected button. Then a two by one black tile, which goes in front of it. Then you will need a one by four black flat tile, which goes here. And then you will need a two by two black tile here and a one by one black tile here. So now you have a three by three square in the middle. You will then need two two by one flat light grey tiles and those go here then you'll need two one by one flat grey tiles those there then you'll need one more of those one by one flat grey tiles and those go in the centre so now you've got like a I or H if you shape it that way then you'll need two one by one square stud pieces grey those go there. Then you'll need two one by one flat red tiles. And those go on top. So those you like your option and select buttons. This is your um these are your two like I, I guess fight or punch buttons. And then this is your direction thing. So obviously the NES wasn't a Bluetooth console like today. So you'll need a, a one by two anti-slope piece and a, a very long rope piece. Uh, you can use the web pieces as well, it just won't look as realistic. But that's fine, and that just clips into the centre there. So now you have your nest controller. Uh, thank you very much to people who have subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it and Yet again if anyone wants to um, If anyone wants to suggest any builds they can do in this in the um, comments Thank you very much for watching this video and goodbye